Hi, I'm Brian from Wooden Creations. Today, I'm gonna to show you the very best Starbucks tea glues to buy when you wanna build or repair your next 3D print. Let's take a look. Look, they have little arms. Let's face it, there are thousands of free 3D prints out there that can help you around your home. From toys to tools, check out this very cool ratcheting screwdriver. It literally ratchets. And if that design doesn't make you want to run out to your 3D printer, well, check out this more simplistic ratchet that also gets the job done. And if tools aren't your thing, then check out this wicked cool everyday carry utility knife. And while 3D prints are amazing, a lot of times we need an amazing strong glue to help us assemble or repair them. With that, today I'm going to show you the strongest star bound CA glues for your next project. Today, I designed a machine I'm calling the Snapometer to help Snap me determine how strong star bond CA glues are with different types of 3D filaments. I'm going to show you the strongest option for your next project. Let's go ahead and get started. The Snapometer works by using a heavy duty drill to spin the gears and raise the threaded rod to give us a digital readout in pounds. The filaments I'll be testing will be PLA, PETG, ABS, and TPU. I'll be testing strength in thin prints, thick prints, as well as sheer strength. For the first tensile strength test, I designed a 3D print with a fairly small surface area to test on. No accelerator is used in this test, and I allow all the prints to dry overnight. Medium EM150 Here's a cool tip, each bottle looks completely different, but you can also reference each glue by its reference number found on the right hand side of the bottle. PLA 26.1 TPU 81 PTG 13.6 ABS 29.1 for medium EM150, TPU did the best in this test with 81 pounds, followed by 29.1 pounds for ABS and 26.1 for PLA. Thin EM02 PLA 37.4 TPU 32.2 ABS 14.4 PETG 42.7 Thin EM02 was the strongest with PETG at 42.7, followed by 37.4 in PLA and 32.2 in TPU. Flexible KEG 500. PLA 38.5. ABS 106.4. PETG 80.7 TPU 23.3 With flexible KEG 500, ABS was the strongest at 106.4 pounds while PETG was 80.7 pounds and PLA was at 38.5 Thick EM2000 PLA 113.1 TPU 39.4 ABS 53.8 PETG 81.5 Thick EM2000 did the best with PLA at 113.1 pounds followed by PETG at 81.5 and ABS at 53.8 The most common thing to break on a 3D print is something thin, so I designed this 3D print to test just that. PLA 103.2 TPU 81.9 PETG 16.2 ABS 84.7 Medium EM150 did the best with PLA at 103.2 pounds followed by ABS at 84.7 pounds and TPU right there with it at 81.9 pounds. 
PLA 34.4. TPU 20.7 ABS 101 PETG 59.1 Thin EMO2 was the strongest with ABS at 101 pounds. PETG followed at 59.1 pounds and PLA was at 34.4 pounds. PLA 159.3 ABS 146.3 PETG 74.2 TPU 15.9 Flexible Thick KEG 500 showing to be one of the strongest tests so far. PLA broke at 159.9 pounds while ABS is at 146.3 pounds and PETG at 74.2 pounds. PLA 160.1 TPU 33.4 ABS 116.6 PETG 22.5 Thick EM2000 taking the crown and outdoing the flexible CA glue. PLA with 160.1 pounds where ABS had 116.6 and TPU at 33.4 pounds. For this next test, I'll be using Starbond on one 3D print and Starbond and Accelerator on the other. Will Accelerator provide a stronger bond? I don't know, let's find out. All 3D prints were given overnight to dry. Medium EM150 setting the bar super high here. Starbond with PLA getting 87.0. PLA with accelerator getting 314.2, the highest in all of my testing. PETG getting 39.4. PETG with accelerator, 44. TPU with Starbond getting 30.2, TPU with Accelerator 29.3. A close one with ABS, ABS with Starbond 43.5, ABS with Accelerator 43.7. Medium EM150 showed everyone who's boss. PLA with Accelerator scored an incredible 314.2 pounds, while PLA Starbond came in at 87 pounds. PTG with Accelerator at 44 pounds and ABS and accelerator at 43.7 pounds. Thin Starbond with PLA coming in at 25.7 pounds. PLA with accelerator coming in at 52.1 pounds. ABS and Starbond coming in at 4.7 pounds. ABS with accelerator at 67.2 pounds. TPU at 27.6 and TPU with accelerator 25.9. PETG 27.1, PETG with accelerator 38.5. Thin EM02 shows to be a little stronger with accelerator. ABS with accelerator 67.2, PLA and accelerator 52.1, and PETG and accelerator 38.5.
flexible KEG 500 showing some strength here. PLA and Starbond getting 93.4 pounds. PLA with Accelerator does a great job as well at 139.4 pounds. PTG 11.6, PTG with Accelerator 63.6. TPU 38.1, TPU with accelerator 16.5. ABS with an impressive 202.1 pounds, ABS with accelerator 79.1 pounds. Flexible KEG 500 showing an impressive 202.1 pounds on ABS, while PLA and Accelerator weren't too far behind at 139.4 pounds. Starbond with PLA a little weaker at 93.4 pounds. Thick, Starbond, EM2000, PLA 118.3, PLA with Accelerator 185.3, PETG 20.3, PETG with Accelerator 35.7, TPU 36.5, TPU with Accelerator 18. ABS 45.6, ABS with accelerator and impressive 168.3. Thick EM2000 showed a lot of strength when combined with accelerators. PLA and accelerator got 185.3 pounds and ABS with accelerator 168.3 pounds. PLA with just star bond reached 118.3 pounds. Next, I designed a 3D print so I could test shear strength. As before, I will repeat the process of testing Starbond in the 3D print alongside a Starbond with Accelerator. Again, all test prints had overnight to dry before testing. First up with the medium EM150, PLA coming in at 29.2 pounds and PLA accelerator 114.2 pounds. PETG and Starbond coming in at 131.3 pounds, PETG and accelerator coming in at 91.9 pounds. TPU and Starbond coming in at 32.6 pounds. TPU with accelerator, 34.5 pounds. ABS and Starbond coming in at 173.2 pounds. ABS with Accelerator coming in with an impressive 179.3 pounds. Medium EM150, really like an ABS this round. ABS with Accelerator 179.3 pounds, while ABS alone pulled an impressive 173.2 pounds. PTG not too far behind at 131.3 pounds. Thick EM2000 with PLA. PLA with Starbond starting off 46 pounds. PLA with Accelerator, an impressive 267 pounds. PETG 26.1 pounds. PETG with Accelerator, 71.8 pounds. TPU 8.2 pounds. TPU with Accelerator, 66.7 pounds. ABS, an impressive 191.6 pounds. ABS with accelerator, 157.6 pounds. Thick EM2000 showing a great bond with PLA and accelerator, pulling off an impressive 267 pounds. ABS not too far behind with 191.6 pounds and ABS and accelerator with 157.6 pounds. Then EMO2, not wanting to bond well in this very first test with PLA, getting into 1.7 pounds. PLA with accelerator, 89.7 pounds. P 
PETG and Starbond 84.2 pounds, PETG with Accelerator 72.3 pounds. TPU and Starbond coming in at 72.8 pounds. TPU with Accelerator coming in at 14.8 pounds. ABS with Starbond coming in with an impressive 157.3 pounds, but ABS with Accelerator coming in with 228.1 pounds, rocking the machine. EMO2 doing the best with ABS and Accelerator this round, 228.1 pounds, and right behind it, ABS 157.3 pounds. PLN Accelerator at 89.7 pounds. Flexible KEG 500, starting off with PLA and Starbond, 175.9 pounds. PLA with Accelerator, 58.2 pounds. PETG and Starbond, 107 pounds. PETG with Accelerator, 164.9 pounds. TPU and Starbond, 54.3 pounds. TPU with Accelerator, 19.6 pounds. ABS and Starbond coming in at 179.1 pounds. ABS with Accelerator coming in at 159.6 pounds. Flexible KEG did the best this round with ABS at 179.1 pounds and not too far behind PLA at 175.9 pounds. PTG and Accelerator at 164.9 pounds. On this chart, I've totaled all tests just using Starbond without Accelerator. This chart shows the strongest glues by pounds. Same goes for this chart, however, this test totals together Starbond and Accelerator. This chart also shows the strongest glues by pounds. For TPU, the strongest is EM150, second comes EM02, and third KEG500. For ABS, the strongest bond is KEG500, second is EM2000, and third is EM150. The strongest bond for PLA is KEG500, second is EM2000, and third is EM150. The strongest bond for PETG is KEG 500, second is EM02, and third is EM150. The strongest bond with TPU and Accelerator is EM2000, second is EM150, and third is EM02. The strongest bond with ABS and Accelerator is EM2000, second is EM02, and third is KEG 500. The strongest bond with PLA and Accelerator is EM150, second is EM2000, and third is KEG 500. The strongest bond with PETG and Accelerator is KEG 500, second is EM150, and third is EM02. Hulk Arms definitely goes to flexible KEG 500 for the strongest glue overall in all my testing. KEG 500 took first place in PLA, ABS, and PETG, and PETG with Accelerator. If you don't know this glue, I'd highly recommend going out and picking up one for your next 3D printing project. Crab Claws goes to Thick EM2000. I love this glue for its super thick consistency that makes it easy to work with on 3D prints. It's my go-to for everything around the house and in the shop, and it's got excellent gel control. It plays first place with ABS and Accelerator and TPU and Accelerator. You can't go wrong with this glue. Machine hands go to medium EM150. It's got great gel control and it does a great job of taking first place with TPU and PLA with Accelerator. No Mr. Roboto here, this stuff's like a machine. Raptor hands for sure goes to thin EM02, mainly because it's so thin and it can sneak up on you and stick you to your project. Don't ask me how I know. It didn't take first place in any of my testing, but it's kind of hard to work with because it's almost too watery. It did, however, take second place on TPU, PTG, and ABS with Accelerator. I have worked with super glue my entire life. It is one of the best super glues. I, I use the super thin. 
Here's a cool little tip. If you ever super glue your project to yourself like I did, well don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Check your bathroom for nail polish remover first, but if you don't have any, make your way down to the local box store for some 100% acetone. The process may take a minute, but this is the best way of getting the job done. Hopefully this video helped you in your search for the strongest Starbond glues with your 3D prints. If so, make sure to pick up your order today. You can save 15% at checkout with promo code WOODENCREATIONS15 at Starbond.com.